Hello my friends, my name is Paul and welcome back to A Common Touch of Fantasy. Today's review is the imaginative world building book The Mere Empire by Cameron Hurley. Amazing cover. My recommendation with this book is a deep discount buy or a borrow from the library with a low priority TBR rating. This is a book with great world building but an awful final act. In the description box below, there are links to my written review and also a link to the book on Goodreads. The Mirror Empire is the first book in a new epic fantasy series that has multiple point of views. There are about five point of view characters in this book that are barely connected to each other that tell a story of three different kingdoms. The Dai Kingdom are peaceful, but when the Saduan Kingdom across the channel come to them with news that an unknown enemy is destroying their kingdom, the Dai people must prepare themselves for a possible war. However, there might already be spies within their own kingdom already. If you are thinking about buying or reading this book, expect the following from this book. Number one, each POV character has no clue what is going on in this world. You learn about this world through the point of view of these characters that you are following. They are mostly young adults that find themselves involved in the politics of this world. There is one adult point of view that we follow. She is a female army leader, but really, she really has no clue what is happening either. Um, number two, fantastic world building that I was completely enthralled with from the very beginning of this book. Multiple genders based off personality, magic that is tied to the position of the suns in the sky, the ability to control plants, dangerous plants in the world instead of animals, walking plants, houses built into trees, people riding bears, matriarchal societies, gender roles are flipped, and sexually food characters. Uh, world building in this was great. Number three, the pacing was fantastic and the book read very quickly. Number four, this is not a light fantasy read. There are a lot of names, uh, many titles, and the world building is complex that might throw some people off. The author does not explain much in this book. You must figure out what's going on yourself. Number five, the last quarter of this book did not bring everything together neatly. The ending of the book seemed rushed. The big climax that the book was pointing towards was done extremely poor, and it was kind of ridiculous. Um, the Mirror Empire, you know, it started out as something that I really liked. Uh, it started out as a four-star book. Uh, the world building was amazing. It really had me hooked. And depending on where the story went, it could have been a five-star book. The things with general reversal was fantastic. Uh, the matriarchal societies was something I was really enjoying. And the characters had my attention. Uh, the plot seemed to be going in a decent direction. And everything seemed okay. It was kind of difficult to follow, but that's okay. I'm used to that at times. Everything changed when one of the characters in this book changed really quickly and dramatically. That it completely threw me off. From that point in the book, everything just became a rushed mess. Uh, the scene that was supposed to be the apex of this entire book was annoyingly bad, and it dropped the whole book from a four star read to a two star read for me. The ending was rushed so much, and I was so disappointed. The character plot lines at the end of the book were just not handled well, and there was just no payoff at the end. Now, I still am going to try the second book in this series because I think the ideas in the world are good enough that if the plot and the characters are uh, cleaned up a little bit, that this could be a fantastic series. I was just really disappointed though, um, but I get annoyed easily with books that end badly, and I put a lot of emphasis on payoffs when it comes to reading fantasy, and sometimes when there isn't a good payoff, I, uh, I don't really care for the book because when I think of pa fantasy books, I think of books with amazing payoffs at the end. Um, I gave this book a 2 out of 5. <laughs> it was just okay. The plot, I gave a 1. I thought it was weak, um, especially the last quarter. The characters, I gave a 2. They were okay. There were some that I liked, but no one I really cared about. Uh, the world building, I gave a 4. The world building actually was strong. Uh, the writing style gave a one. It seemed really rushed at the end, like she was trying to meet a deadline. Uh, the heart and mind aspect, I give a one. I just really did not care about the characters at all. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys again soon.